Do you spend your time thinking that money is not enough for you? Don't make it to the end of the month? Find out what you are doing wrong with your money. This is the first step to improving your finances. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what are the main mistakes that people make with their money so that you can change the way you use it, your relationship with it, and that you become a new and better version of yourself. Here are eight habits that keep you poor. Living beyond your means. Acquiring products, goods, or services that are outside your budget, without a doubt, can be one of the reasons why you don't get the money. Don't spend on things outside your budget. Spend a little of your time searching and comparing. Not all that glitters is gold, and the market is full of overvalued items, as surely you can get many options suitable for your economy. We tend to buy items that are not strictly necessary, such as expensive clothes, the latest technological gadgets, or luxuries that only generate well-being for a short period of time. I do not mean that you can never give in to certain whims. What I mean is that you should keep track of your money to avoid spending beyond your budget. Let's look at the example of Maria. She barely receives her salary, and the first thing she does is go shopping and acquire elegant dresses. She goes to the hairdresser to beautify herself and even orders food frequently. But in the middle of the month, Maria checks her wallet and realizes that much of her salary is gone and that she must subsist on the money for the remaining 15 days of the month. What Maria does is financially incorrect since she spends beyond her means, which causes her at the end of the month, she has to use her credit card to make essential purchases such as food and borrowing. So this does not happen to us. It's important to establish a budget and stick to it. In this way, we will avoid wasting our money and keep ourselves at bay of what we can spend month by month. Thus, avoiding getting into debt and even being able to save and invest for a better future. Assume the role of the victim. Your reality is what it is, with what you like and what you don't like. When you assume the role of the victim, it is because you are not taking charge of your own decisions by holding third parties responsible for what happens to you or does not happen to you. When it's not the government, it's the boss, your parents. The problem is always in anyone or anything but them. These people tend to justify themselves with phrases such as, money is not important. If you have this attitude towards money, it will escape. Remember, we attract what we think. Do not waste your energy complaining and lamenting, since the same energy is what can lead you to find the solutions you need. Focus on what you can do with your current position, from your reality as it is, so you can make better decisions and turn your reality to your aspirations. Impulsive and unnecessary purchases. It is likely that when you review your expenses for the month, the following question will arise. Did I need everything I bought? To a greater or lesser extent, nowadays it is common for all of us to make some impulse purchases. We all have different ways of relating to money, but the problem of impulse purchases appears when the reason for the expense is superfluous. Whether or not you have more or less economic resources, the most impulsive purchased items are usually clothes, shoes, knickknacks, and accessories, and it also extends to electronics or household utensils. We buy motivated either by our needs or desires, and even sometimes influenced by marketing or offers, which we believe is smart because we are saving by acquiring it at a lower price. It is important to have self-control to avoid falling into impulsive behaviors when buying. For this, I recommend set a monthly spending limit so you will avoid buying outside your budget. When you go shopping, make a previous list of what you need and stick to it. Even before buying something, ask yourself, do I need it? In this channel, we have a video in which we tell you what are the unnecessary expenses that you should eliminate. I recommend you take a look at it. You can see it by clicking on the card that appears now on the screen. I will also be leaving you the link in the description. Not setting goals or plans. If you do not have defined goals, you will not know which direction to take. So, if you have not asked yourself the questions about what you really want and how far you want to go, 
the time to do so is now. Once you are clear about your goal, meditate on the action plan you must undertake to achieve it. Keep the vision of your long-term goal, but take action on a day-to-day, step-by-step basis. Be consistent and commit yourself to and your future, taking your personal goals as your goal. Ideally, you should set goals that you can achieve that is realistic. Otherwise, you run the risk of getting frustrated and abandoning them. Sometimes it will be necessary to subdivide the big goals into smaller ones to move forward and overcome frustration. Relying on a single source of income. The famous saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, consists of great wisdom, sense. What would happen if your basket falls to the ground? You would lose all your eggs, something that would clearly not be good for your economy. In fact, millionaires have on average seven sources of income. It's all about diversifying, creating a greater number of sources of income so that you don't need to depend on any particular one and none is indispensable. Pay special attention to obtaining sources that provide you with passive income, since these do not require much time or energy. In you is the decision about what kind of sources of income you decide to create, or which you want to invest, and how to generate more money with these. But what is clear is that the sooner you start creating multiple sources of income, the sooner you will stop worrying about not making it to the end of the month, and you can focus on enjoying life and your time. Which, after all, that is true wealth. Not managing your time productively. Time is gold, they say, and of course, it is. Since being limited is one of the most precious resources we have. Good time management consists of making intelligent use of it and taking advantage of it to perform our tasks. This requires planning, patience, and discipline. Next, I'm going to give you some tips it can help you start managing your time better. Number one, what I usually do is, when I get up, write down on a sheet all the tasks I will perform in that day. This helps me to stay focused on finishing them. Ideally, you should start with those that are urgent or more complicated to get rid of them as soon as possible. Number two, avoid distractions. The world is full of wonderful distractions, your favorite series, text messages, video games, social network, we could go on for years, but if you want results in your work, planning is what will help you. You need to convince yourself that the time program plan is 100% dedicated to getting the job done. Close all browser tabs. Log out of your phone. If you work in a public space or home, it is key to find a quiet place where you feel comfortable to work with enough encouragement to carry it out correctly. Number three, leave a margin of time between tasks. It's not about becoming a work machine. It would be amazing, yes, but it's physically impossible, since no excess is good for you. The human brain concentrate for about 90 minutes, so it's vital to give your body and mind a break. You can do some yoga, stretch your limbs for a few minutes, eat fruits, and stay hydrated. It doesn't matter if you invest the time in your rest. The important thing is that you take some time for yourself, as this will improve your concentration. If you relax, you perform better. Not having to save as a priority. On payday, do you spend first and leave savings for the last? Do you think that saving is only a matter for old people? If this is so, it is most likely that at the end of the month you will not have any money. Undoubtedly, there are many compelling reasons to have savings. Eventually you'll get older, and getting into old age calm and worry-free is enough reason to start saving in a savings account. It is also important to have savings to cover unexpected events. You may have all your expenses covered, but if your car broke down or you lost your job or one of your relatives become ill, you may have to make extra money to pay for medical expenses. You had some unforeseen domestic expense and now you must pay for repairs. Where do you get the money? So that this type of situation does not catch you off guard, it is important to have an emergency fund that allows you to cover the expenses that arise without prior notice. Ideally, your emergency fund should cover from three to six months of your expenses to have some security. Do not invest your money. Saving by yourself is not the best option to have a prosperous life. If we keep our money under the mattress or in our safe without making it work, it loses value every day. Governments print money, and the more money there is, the less it will be worth. 
In addition to this, we must add inflation, which causes it to lose its value. So, it is vitally important to invest our money so that it works for us and becomes more money. You can start a business of your own and invest in the stock market, real estate, cryptocurrencies, and many other options. Of course, it is necessary to stay informed, trained, and do your research to make an accurate investment. The risks of investing are inevitable. You can always lose money, but knowing them, you can choose the best option for your finances. These were eight mistakes that keep people poor. Tell us what you thought of this video, and if you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. We will be happy to read them, and remember to share them with your friends to help them with their financial education. We leave you with other similar videos that could be interesting to you. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time we upload new content. See you in the next video.